Welcome to Night Tower Simulations, where every week we bring you 90 seconds of tech tips, helping you maximize graphics and performance within Microsoft Flight Simulator, ensuring a smooth and stutter-free experience at a whole new level. Today's topic will be limiting FPS within the NVIDIA control panel. If you're enjoying these episodes, please like and subscribe below. Limiting your FPS can be a solution to improve your gaming experience within Microsoft Flight Simulator, especially if your CPU is struggling to keep up with the graphics card. So why do we want to limit FPS? Limiting FPS can help reduce the load on your graphics card and improve the overall performance of Microsoft Flight Simulator. By limiting F your FPS, you are effectively telling your graphics card to render fewer frames per second, which will reduce the workload on your graphics card, keeping it cooler and allow your CPU to keep up. This will potentially result in smoother gameplay and fewer stutters or lag spikes. Choosing the right FPS limit will depend on your system configuration and personal preferences. For example, if you have a top tier graphics card and a powerful CPU, you might be able to limit your FPS to 60 without any significant impact on your gaming experience. However, if you have a lower end hard hardware setup or an older system in general, you may need to lower your FPS limit to 30 or 45 to achieve smooth gameplay. It is worth noting that limiting your FPS will also reduce the amount of power consumed by your system, which can be beneficial for laptop users or those with limited power supply. Additionally, limiting your FPS can help to prolong the lifespan of your graphics card by reducing the stress on the GPU. Here's how I limit the FPS within Microsoft Flight Simulator with an NVIDIA card. I'm not familiar with the AMD cards, but I'm sure they have a similar capability. First, you'll want to open up your NVIDIA control panel, navigate to Manage 3D Settings, click on the Program Settings tab, and find Microsoft Flight Simulator in the drop-down menu. Then, you'll want to scroll down and change your max frame rate to whatever value you feel is acceptable. I use 45. In conclusion, by limiting your FPS, you are potentially decreasing stutters and improving stability, prolonging the life of your hardware and enjoying an overall smoother experience. For Microsoft Flight Simulator, there's no need to chase frames, but there is always a desire to chase fluidity. See you next time, and happy flying!